Hello YouTubers, this is Mustan. Uh, I'm going to upload a video uh, <clears throat> about my experience uh, with uh, a phone service provider which is called the Freedom Pop. Uh, that might uh, uh, help you consider the possibilities uh, of the service you can receive from Freedom Pop. I read about Freedom Pop from uh, a magazine called, uh, you see this one, Kiplinger's. So uh, I don't know whether it is this service, this this edition or another one. Uh, I've saw, I've seen uh, <coughs> positive <coughs> uh, information about it. So uh, since I wanted to also save some money and also enjoy uh, the new business model about phone service from Freedom Pop. Uh, I went to st started studying about uh, Freedom Pop and I just googled and watched some videos about uh, Freedom Pop on, um, on uh, YouTube and uh, there are good ones and also they tell you it's a bad service uh, but finally i i went to uh, an interview which uh, uh, stephen which is the ceo of freedom pop stephen stockholz he had uh, an interview with uh, this week's in startup which is jason jason Kalakasi, Kalakanis or something. So uh, I was persuaded by uh, what he has to say, Mr. Stalk, Mr. Stephen Stockholm, Stockholz. Uh, to me, it was really interesting. And also I like to, to be in this type of uh, business. I mean, uh, I want to support and also be part of it. Uh, the ideas he presented were very nice and also even though Mr. Jason has insist insisted uh, on uh, the pricing uh, uh, being uh, at the same time advertised by by Mr. Stephen on the interview, uh, he said the optimum uh, optimum uh, data uh, and uh, also uh, text and uh, call service should be purchased for $20. For me it's a very good one. Unlimited text, unlimited call and also uh, he said 2 GB but I see it 1 GB here. I saw it 1 GB per month and uh, they can give you, they can advertise also. For me, it was advertised uh, for six, six months additional, one GB free. So, after I heard all the YouTube information and also to Google, I Googled it also at different reviews. And finally, uh, when I heard the interview from Mr. Stephen, I was persuaded. A young man who has achieved this much, I like to be a part of him, his success. And also I might also consider doing uh, business around it for myself. To make the long story short, I ordered, uh, they advertised a free phone together with for $99 and $9.99 and which is $10 and uh, why not I said yes and uh, you see this phone it was packed with this package it just came like this uh, actually there was a, a box can you see this yeah and also there's a charger that comes with it so 
I received it. I ordered it on 5th uh, September and I received it on 9th, which is very fast. And uh, I also received uh, this guide, quick startup guide. It just came with it. Uh, so I, I think I, it was a very good thing. So I started to read this one. It says, if you receive a phone pre-configured from Freedom Pop, you just start and use it. Open it, I mean switch on, then use it. When I switch on to use it, it's not activated. It's not activated. So, uh, and the phone tell you to activate uh, by putting your uh, it will just scan from the phone itself they have their own software inside it will scan its uh, its unique uh, serial number of the phone and it asked me to activate i activated it again so when i activated it just gave me another number another phone number i don't mind it's a new phone number originally they changed it it's okay i just go now after it is activated i wanted to call when i wanted to call it doesn't work i had a very good uh, uh, internet broadband internet service so i used that to do all this uploading uh, downloading whatever and resetting the phone then i checked my account online when i checked my online account of free pop, freedom pop it says uh, your service is suspended for billing uh, something okay because since i didn't know about freedom pop i paid my first payment which is 30 dollars using uh, using uh, paypal because i don't want to give my uh, credit details or card details so i paid it i saw the transaction on my uh, mm, paypal account it's already gone so now i received the phone uh, so i cancelled it and uh, uh, updated it with another one so there was a cap it say a top uh, what do you call they said mm. If you pass the one gigabyte, uh, they will automatically uh, add value, uh, add data for you. So I wanted, I just wanted not to do it because I want to behave. So I unchecked uh, the auto top up data uh, program they have. I, I, I enabled, disabled it. So, in the system it comes, I have to be charged $5, okay, I said, I gave her my card, and uh, it is ad updated. The next time I called, it's not activated, then they told me, I don't know, there is some problem with the system. So, they told me they escalated it to a higher level. So that gets solved. I think it's a good idea. So I waited another day and I called. Another guy told me to update my uh, my card. I called them again. I updated my card for the second time. Oh no, for the third time. And he said, another person said also, he want to escalate it to, because he couldn't solve it. There's another guy, and, and another, in the second, the third day, I called again. And the lady said, it's not, uh, your phone is not activated from uh, your software. No, it just, you just have activated it from when you send the phone. But if you ask me to update it again, I will do it gladly. So. I uninstalled, I uninstalled the software, which is a messaging software, 
on Freedom Pub and I reinstalled it as per the instruction I received from the person on uh, the support team. So I did that and she said it's not still working. I have told her it is activated, it is configured, every software has everything she asked me it has it she didn't see it from the other side okay i said okay now she didn't solve it and she told me she's going to escalate it again i told her this has been escalated four or five times before now i don't want you to escalate it the way the other guys did it can you please connect me to a superior somebody who can solve the problem she said you have to give a week time now after all this i, I waited 12 days by the way <laughs> after receiving this form this form i waited 12 days just playing around uh, with uh, because since i have the data in the in my workplace also in here uh, since I have a Wi-Fi, I just checked email, something like that, but I couldn't call. Uh, the good thing is I didn't change my phone from my first service provider to this one uh, because I was just curious and it, it saved me a lot by doing that because I would have been without phone for i don't know how how, how long because uh, today i called again and uh, no before that before i called again yesterday i had to look for this guy uh, who persuaded me which is the ceo i looked into him uh, over uh, twitter and i i tweeted to him personal message about this and uh, I was not getting uh, support to activate my phone I didn't ask anything I just asked activate my phone for the plan I have no response I tried it today for long no response and uh, I called the lady or the anyway sometimes the answer a man would answer it so I called them today a lady answered my phone I told her I almost asked her to help me the same answer you have to wait at least a week can you imagine just waiting another week with the same thing so I just offered her can you give me uh, cancel can you cancel my service I will send back your phone with uh, with uh, whatever you want I mean, uh, the phone and the charger I think that's all I have in this small uh, catalog I'm going I'm going to send it back uh, so when I give her the option uh, now since they have uh, my uh, credit card detail uh, they think that they have the upper hand uh, to abuse me uh, which is not a, a good uh, business practice so after I told her she cancelled it and she gave me an email to get the service I have called so many times I never get an email an email uh, to solve the problem from nobody except that telling me that I have called so this is my experience and uh, it's very sad a company which is growing it's not about the amount of money 
or the amount of discount they provide. It's about uh, the quality of business they do. Because if I were depending my phone, if my business, the whole business is depending on this phone, it was a disaster. The good thing, I didn't transfer my phone number to this one. So, I want to tell you one thing about Freedom Pop. If you are lucky and if your phone works the first time, it's not a bad a bad service if you know they just give me the phone which is working and also uh, if it was activated it may not be a problem but once you have a problem whatever type of a problem I think they are unable to solve it they don't have a people who knows how their system works, I think. They don't have that person or that team of experts. Maybe these are people who are in India or somewhere not trained enough about, and the, also they are not, I think, empowered to, to solve a problem. For me, it was simple. They could have canceled the whole, uh, mm, account they could have told me to create another account or just change the phone number and reactivate it because i have already have the phone i already have everything they could have done that they could have done on the paperwork in their own system because it can happen anybody can cancel and reactivate again they could have done that if can they if they cannot fix uh, that that account for the many reasons they have I don't know, they could have cancelled it or change the number or do something so that this phone gets activated. But the support is completely a disaster. A tech company can you imagine a tech company? in this information age where a phone can be activated over the internet you don't need even somebody and uh, it takes it cannot be solved within the 12th day it might take many days while your billing cycle is being active now it tells you it is 18 days left so they can charge you for 18 days they are in a position to charge you for 18 days while you don't receive anything of course i receive the phone which i am going to send them back but it is really really a disaster the support i don't know how good the quality of service it would be because I don't know I didn't experience it what I have experienced is just the hardware they send and also what I have experienced is how poor sluggish and inappropriate their service is and how incompetent is also the management including the owner the CEO they are incompetent the reason being, at least they are gonna send somebody to follow up. I just gave them the, my phone number, the phone number, the escalated ticket number, but nobody asked. I know this guy could be a very busy person, but he could have signed it to somebody. So they are not, uh, you know, customer retention is very important. I am already persuaded, I am already a customer. I paid for the service. I didn't ask for more. What I asked is to activate the phone. Nobody will answer that. 
I have told them how desperate I am, calling them every day for this, and nobody could understand its importance of losing a customer for not activating a phone. There is no other reason. I'm not dissatisfied with the service or anything or anything yet because I didn't ex experience it. So it is, and I was to go to have, I think I also tried to get uh, my wife's uh, the same thing. And I was also, if it was good, well, I was to tell to friends at work. Even I started talking about this, which is wrong. So, freedom pop from what I have experienced have a disaster in their support system. They don't know priorities. They don't have, they didn't put a management that can solve a problem. They should have put somebody there to solve a problem that is being escalated. Easy. Or just put a system. If the person sitting there cannot see a problem with my service, if I'm up to date with the billing, if I'm up to date with uh, the SIM card or something, what should they expect? There should be a system to reset this. The whole thing, reset the whole thing, including the number. And give me another number and make the service active. They could have done this. It is very easy. To me, it's very easy. It should be easy. But they don't care. Or because I am disabled, I disabled the uh, auto top of, top up. Uh, data system maybe that's where their business is just by penalizing for excess data used I don't know but I've done that since that time I think uh, I couldn't find any service and uh, this is my story I think it would be useful before you transfer uh, and uh, my advice to you, don't give them your credit card details. Go to, uh, I was, I shared this idea from a, somebody on YouTube. You can uh, buy, uh, you can buy, uh, not even give them your PayPal account. It doesn't deserve that. Check them for at least two months to see how the data, how the service works. So just go buy a gift card, Visa, uh, and customize it to the name you wanted. Then uh, give them, buy it with that, with that card. If you don't like it, you will go to the process of cancelling. You have to wait your ma until uh, until you send or until they finish their process, which might take more than a month or something to get your money back. Or they might charge you unfairly. It's a good pra it's a practice being uh, I've seen with many companies. So they might charge you for that too. So don't give your card, uh, your billing uh, details, uh, which can have, which they can um, charge you in case of, if you're not happy, they'll keep charging you for nothing because, because of their weakness. So I would also stress on that one. 
don't pay with your credit card or PayPal or something just buy from a store a gift card give them that if they if you find the service is good as per your expectation then then giving the details makes sense otherwise don't give your details for that matter do not give your electronic check detail to any merchant it doesn't worth it I have a victim of that they charge you like this Taekwondo I'm going to speak about that uh, in recent years I have two kids who went to Taekwondo college in Virginia Fourth Church uh, and I'll talk about it later on another subject so mm, there are many malpractices once they have the upper hand they don't never treat you as a customer they treat you as a, a, as a, an ignorant person or some, somebody who they can uh, snatch their money your money hard earned money for nothing uh, okay this is uh, uh, my experience again about freedom pop thank you very much for listening bye